Thank you to Squarespace for sponsoring this video. With great marketing tools and analytics, Squarespace is the all-in-one platform to create a beautiful online presence. Let's do this. So if you don't know who I am, hello, uh, my name is Megan. I am an illustrator and this is my new studio. We're going to be transforming this empty room into a very cute, if I do say so myself, um, and functional art studio. Recently, I moved from a much smaller apartment um, into a much larger one. <laughs> Previously, I was working literally back to back with my boyfriend who also works from home. So it was just like the two of us. Like I could literally always reach out and touch his chair in the beginning, it worked fine, but I found that over the course of a year, my shop, my Patreon, my YouTube channel all grew a lot. And I really felt like I was outgrowing that space. I had so many things and because the space was so small, I felt very cramped and my shop updates were really hard for me to do because I just didn't have a lot of space to pack. Filming was kind of hard sometimes too because I always had to be very mindful of Robert's schedule because Robert's my boyfriend by the way. Um, I had to be very mindful of Robert's schedule because he was always in meetings and it was just like not the most functional space. Um, so I'm so grateful to be in this much larger one that's all mine. I run an online store, I have a Patreon, and it's actually thanks to my patrons that I'm able to have the financial support to move and even furnish a place like this. One of the main things I was thinking about when I was going into designing this studio was that I wanted a dedicated order packing station. You can kind of see it behind me. I also wanted to have all of my art supplies laid out in a way that's very easy for me to grab. And then lastly, I wanted to make sure my inventory was very organized because it used to not be organized at all. Going into this, my main thing that I was keeping in mind was function because I feel like last time I didn't really think of it enough. And there were all these things that didn't really work super well. So going into this studio, I was just like, I wanna make sure that this place is functional. So without further ado, let's just get into the makeover part of the video. So here's what we're working with. It's a pretty decent sized room. And yeah, I'm going to just unpack things, move things around. I already have my desk and my monitor and stuff set up, but all of these boxes, all of these things have all my inventory. Yeah, I just really have to organize. So there's a bit of a unpacking montage happening right now, so I thought I'd do a voiceover. This is so satisfying to watch, just like me unpacking all of these things and moving the furniture around. But in the moment, God, it was tiring. <laughs> well, I mean, this part was actually kind of enjoyable. The worst part of the moving process was definitely heavy lifting all of the furniture. Um, we were originally gonna move around this time, like when the video, when this video is gonna come out, um, but circumstances changed and we had to get out of our apartment sooner than we had thought. Um, and I was going to hire movers because I was just like, I've heard from a lot of people that moving yourself is hell. And if you can afford it, hiring movers is just the way to go. But because of the circumstances, what ended up happening is Robert and I um, got a U-Haul and we did all of it ourselves. And for the past six years, I've been moving a lot. Every year for the past six years, I have been living in a different space. Like in college, I had different dorm rooms. I went abroad for a year. And then after I graduated, I lived in Brooklyn for a year. And then after that, I moved out here to LA. So there has been a lot of moving in my life, but this was the first time that I kind of moved as a quote unquote adult with furniture and pets, AKA dependents, you know? Um, and God, it's so much harder <laughs> to move uh, furniture uh, from an apartment than it is just like your own dorm college belongings. Um, I have so much respect for professional movers now too. And 
yeah, it, it was just such a tiring experience and I'm swearing to myself now I will never be doing that again. Um, but I'm just so glad the process is over. Like I mentioned in the intro, this place is much larger than our previous apartment. And a huge plus is that it's also cheaper and there's more amenities. And I'm just so glad we made the decision to get a better apartment. Um, the cats love it. We have a hallway now. The cats sprint up and down the hallway. They're having a blast. Um, and I love it here. Every day I wake up um, and I'm just so happy. There's way more natural light in this space as well. Filming has been so nice because I no longer have to worry about it being really, really dark. My ISO has never been lower if you know about cameras. Um, and it's just been so, so wonderful. And I'm so grateful and I'm excited for you guys to watch the rest of the video. Before we continue this video, we need to thank the sponsor of this video, which is Squarespace. Thank you so much, Squarespace, for sponsoring yet another one of my videos. Recently, I've been editing my secret Patreon shop because I've been so busy working on the makeover video. I just haven't had the opportunity to open my main shop, but because I can password protect my Patreon shop, this one stays open all the time. I just added some new products the other day and it was really, really nice to customize it and change up the look. I love the feature that lets you pick a theme for the text and the colors of any particular page. It just helps everything stay so consistent. I love Squarespace, highly recommend it. If you wanna try it out, go to squarespace.com for a free trial. And when you're ready to launch, go to squarespace.com slash Megan Wang for 10% off your first purchase. I want to have some larger art pieces in my studio. Um, and I'm thinking something very like bold and geometric and I would just like something that is like very big and just like a really fun chunk of color. And I was looking at a bunch online and I found a bunch I liked and they were all from like West Elm or just something like really expensive furniture stores and each painting were prints and they would go for like $150 or something like that or maybe $300. And I was just like, Wait, I can make something similar myself. I stopped at Michael's just because I needed some more supplies because I typically don't paint big. I picked up this tube of blue paint. I got some super cheap, really big brushes. Easel, also from Artist Loft. I stan Artist Loft, I guess. And <laughs> I had to go into the hallway. I also got some really big canvases. Like I want something this big just because I feel like it'll look really good. Um, and because I have so many little prints, I think having like a big canvas will look nice. Let's paint!
looks like this. I'm not overjoyed with it, but I also don't hate it. Um, but it'll accomplish what I wanted it to do. It's just gonna be some like fun green, fun wall art with colors I really enjoy. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to let this dry a bit and then find a good spot. So I have all these super cute prints. I love all of them so much. It's from artists I adore as well. I, I love this one from Nat Anderson. It's so cute. So I'm definitely gonna, this one will definitely be going up. Unfortunately in the move it ripped a little, which I'm kind of bummed about. I love this one from Sad Shrimps. This is also from Nat Anderson. I love this one. I got this one from her in person. These two by Lee and, and Tiffany I like a lot as well. So I have this Rizzo calendar from Vicky that I will definitely be putting up too. I also have this that I really love. I got it from my dad. I think I'm going to put it up in here as well. He always does this. Follows me around, making little biscuits in the air. Right? 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 I changed into my Jigglypuff shirt because I feel like a dress is not going to cut it. Um, I read online that this probably will take around 30 minutes to assemble, so I hope, I'm hoping that it doesn't take any longer than that because my first flexi sport dress did take a while.
Hello, it's a different day and now I'm gonna put up my Ikea pegboard. Um, I'm not the best at drilling into the wall and putting things up, but I'm gonna try and do my best. This is the pegboard. I still want it to look at like a good height when it's all the way up. So I, I tried to like hold it up while the desk was up and down. I think it's gonna be fine. It's basically gonna be right here, yeah. I'm just guessing which size. I would just say do the, the depth of the anchor. Let's do this. bad news I did it wrong of course I did it wrong it's supposed to be upside down Now we're in the talk organization. I have a bunch of nice things that I already used to organize. Like I adore my crates from Hay, um, but I have one issue that I really need to figure out that I didn't do in my last studio, which is cable management. So I went online to Amazon as well as a container store and I got some things that'll help me with cable management. And I also got some more little um, containers for my inventory too, because I'm kind of running out and yeah. Oh my god, this broke. Okay, I definitely have to contact them because this is not functional at all. That is actually a huge bummer. I really like how these look and it, they just seem super functional because for example, when you have a bunch of washi tape like this, you can just reach your hand in to grab it, which I think is really nice. Um, I got these off of Amazon. I was watching this YouTuber, I think they go by Pipa's Art, and I noticed that they had these like makeup storage things for stickers, which I thought was so smart. I got this because I like that it's open. Um, I have this thing from the container store that's like a pull open, but I find that those drawers are really annoying to open and close. And when I'm packing and I wanna go fast, I can't be opening and closing all these drawers. And I've tried pulling out the compartments and putting them on my desk, but it just doesn't work well. This will work really well because this will let my stickers kind of sit vertically, which will save a lot of space on my desk. Um, and then I can just reach and grab them. So I feel like this will help my packing flow a lot. Took some duct tape and put it on around the back of this. So it's not beautiful, but it's not super noticeable and I don't want to throw it out. Like it still works fine. So yeah. So I'm just brainstorming some ways to make my life a lot easier in terms of studio organization. Because in my last place, basically I just didn't have enough space for all of my things. So everything was really cramped and I had to shove everything on that wooden shelf I have over here. I've been taking a lot of inspiration. I've been watching a lot of studio vlogs. I've been watching a lot of like studio makeover videos just cause I really love seeing how other people organize their spaces. And I remember Cheyenne, a sweet, wonderful, amazing Cheyenne Barton um, posted um, some pictures on Twitter and Instagram of some studio organization she's been doing in her studio. I remember this thing she came up with, looks like this. Um, she organized all of her Patreon postcards in one of these hay storage crates. And I was just like, I wanna do that too. It not only looks super cute, but it's also like, it also seems really functional. And because my Patreon, I've been doing it for over a year now, my the amount of postcards I have are increasing.
So these post-it notes don't look great um, and I don't have a lot of paper I can cut up, but I remember I have these envelopes I don't really use anymore um, and they fit perfectly so I can just have the envelopes here instead of the post-it note and I feel like it looks a lot cleaner. So I figured out that if I just cut like this and then alternate them, it'll be really clear. So I'm gonna do that now. DIY, man. This is some real DIY shit. I don't know. I, I like that I'm giving myself room to grow. Like, I will eventually accumulate a lot more throughout the year, so I won't have to come up with like a new storage solution. That's what I'm telling myself because I thought this would fill up this box more. So I want to start labeling some stuff now and I got this idea from Lee. I love, I love Lee. I just never thought that I should label anything, but I feel like when I label something, it just really makes it so like this drawer is for this purpose. Um, and that will stop me hopefully from just creating a bunch of junk drawers because that is my tendency. I just love to toss something in a drawer and if it fits and I don't have to look at it, boom. slippers but I know I know but we're gonna fix it Here's the after. Um, <laughs> that black box is so annoying, but I would say it's much cleaner than before.
So one of the last things I wanna do in my studio in terms of decor is put a plant in here. I was looking around and this plant belongs to Robert. It is very neglected. Um, it's the only plant he has in the whole house. It's extremely neglected. I don't think it's been watered in ages. So I'm just gonna move this over. I don't love how this pot looks. This was like a couple cents one from Home Depot. I just don't love the look of it. There's also two of them here. Um, I might use something like this for Lekka in the future, but for now, this guy's gonna go into here. Um, and just now I washed for me to use. So what I'm gonna do is not put the whole plant in Lekka obviously, but what I'm gonna do is just try to transplant the same soil in here and then put Lekka as like kind of a top dressing situation. Oh my God. really cute lacy looking curtain and to your right I put up some pretty art prints so we got my print from Odd Rabbits this is from a Korean artist called Park Hae Mi and then this is from Apple Cheeks and this is also from Odd Rabbits down here we have Robert's cart so he just is gonna use this room as well for like listening to music and hanging out sometimes. So this is the painting that I made just to add a bit more, just to fill up the wall a bit. I also love pink and green. Up top here, I placed all of my Rizograph prints and I'm so glad that I have this now because they used to just be in a big stack on this shelf and it was so hard to take prints out and it just like looked really bad as well and I never like got a solution for it so I'm so so happy I got this and I kind of went a little wild labeling things so I labeled them all too and then in these containers here I've just placed more inventory mainly washi tape um, I'm thinking I'm gonna get two more of these and place them here because I'm sure I'm gonna produce more washies in the future moving down onto this shelf this is more prints and also extra inventory and products so these stickers are like way too big. So I just have them in this container. These are the sticker trays that I showed earlier in my video. It just also gives me more space to like grow into here. Like as my Patreon continues, I will need more storage. So I'm glad that I have it open and available. Um, same as here as well. It looks a bit empty, but like I will fill it as um, time goes on and I have larger shop updates. This is from Amazon. This is from Hay and that is from Daiso. Moving down to one of the bottom rungs of the shelf, I have these two storage crates from Hay that I really, really love. Um, they're just so nice to look at and yeah, they're really beautiful. Down here is an open shelf that I don't have a purpose for yet, but I'm sure I will put more inventory as time goes on. So now we're moving along to this side of the studio, which is like my main computer desk area. So here is where I will be editing and doing like a lot of bunch of cabin work and even making art as well. I feel like this will kind of be my main place I'm gonna be sitting for most of the time. I also love how beautiful this view is. This is a south facing window, so I just get really nice bright light throughout the whole day. So this is a little Ami Gurdami crochet plush that my mom made a long time ago. This is a really cute cat calendar from this artist called Donning Crow. I really love it. Every month has like a different cat doing something and I just think it's so funny. This is a hand-built cup I made in ceramics recently when I took my course a few months ago. And I just have like my go-to things I use almost every day right here. And then here, my Yeti microphone is going to live right here. It doesn't look super cute with the cord, but I can't do anything about it. With my last, I had the same mic, but it, this USB, whatever mini USB port um, actually broke because I was unplugging it so much, so I just keep it plugged in. So, moving along the desk here, we have this monitor. This monitor is a Samsung monitor. This little note Jisoo wrote me like a year ago I keep here because I love Jisoo and I think it's so cute. Um, but yeah, it's a Samsung curved monitor. I heard curved is better for your eyes. I don't know if that's true, but it's a really nice size for me and I use it 
every day and I like it a lot. This um, laptop holder I got during my last makeover video and I love it because I used to just have it like out on my desk like this, which is fine. But I find that this just like makes it look a lot cleaner. So this is a desk lamp from BenQ. It's one of my favorite things I own. I love it. It just lights up my whole desk so well. Um, definitely one of the best lamps. I think the best lamp I've ever owned. I'm so happy to have like a cute windowsill like this so I can display like cute little ceramic and clay figurines I've been gifted by friends. My cable situation looks like this. It's so much cleaner than I had it before. Everything is in there, hidden away. Um, and then this thing is from the container store. Super helpful at hiding all my cords. Here is a very open corner. Um, I have my gallery wall right here. I used to think that I kind of had to decorate like all my walls and cover everything with artwork. But now I kind of feel like it looks nice to have kind of dedicated areas of art instead of just covering everything with artwork. My parents' home like has like really beautiful um, Chinese decorations like this, so I kind of like having it in my home as well because it just reminds me of home. It's also very lucky and fortuitous. I'm trying to bring in that good fortune, so <laughs> I have this up here. So you notice this corner is very empty. What I'm going to do with this corner is I'm going to have a chair right here. Um, which I think will be really fun. I think I want to have it like kind of diagonally tilted right here. Also, um, because we have a two bedroom and I get this whole office space, um, I thought it was only fair that Robert actually has a space in here to come and hang out as well. After work, he likes to listen to music, so he can do that on this chair that will be right here. And I will tag all of the artists where all these prints are from, so you can go check them out. I got this beautiful bamboo desk from Flexi Spot. They very kindly gifted it to me. I'm really glad I got bamboo too. I feel like it adds a lot of warmth into the room and it matches my shelf and it just kind of ties in all the white and light wood colors. Um, here we have a pegboard. So this pegboard comes with a bunch of fun attachments. They have one that is better suited to paper stuff. Um, so I might get that one in the future if I'm ever at Ikea, but for now it holds my envelopes just fine. And then this top shelf up here is mainly decorative. So I have Tom Nook, um, a little tape thing that comes in handy a lot, and then a little philodendron cutting. And then um, another attachment that I really like are these little hooks. They come in handy so much. Um, so I just have a little washi roll hanging there. My scissors. I love just having the scissors here. It's so convenient to grab. On this next shelf, I have um, just these post-it notes that I use a lot. And then I have my scale that I use like all the time when I'm packing. Here I just have things I use all the time when I'm packing orders. So I have a little marker to write notes, some pencils to write order numbers down. This one is a little empty. I'm definitely gonna put more things as time goes on. And then down here, I sometimes will hang my AirPods. This is my label printer permanently hooked up. This is a Rolo. Um, they actually came up with a wireless one that I want a lot, but I can't justify that purchase right now. Um, but I really, really love how I can have it permanently hooked up on this desk. Because my old studio was so much smaller, I just didn't have the space to have it permanently hooked up. So every time I need to print a label, I have to get it and like plug all the wires in. And there's, a, there's two wires and I would have to like bend down on the ground and plug it in. So I'm just so glad that I have it permanently here and I don't have to do that anymore. Here I just have outgoing Patreon mail. One has international orders and one has um, domestic and it's just really nice to keep my envelopes organized because I'm waiting on some stamps right now. But because I make so many stickers for Patreon every month, I'm actually running out of slots. This is just gonna be so useful in unpacking because I can just grab it right out. Up here, have some artwork. This shelf here is really a work in progress. This used to be in my living room, but we don't really have space for it anymore in our current living room. So I just thought I would put it right here and actually fits really well in this corner, so I might keep it here. This is one of my favorite pieces of art. I love it so much. And I got it framed with a nicer frame, I think. This is by an artist called James Fisher. And then here we have my Alex drawer set and this is a really nice storage thing. So in this first drawer, which is like my artist supply drawer, I have just like acrylic paints in here as well as artist gouache, Turner acrylic gouache, so my whole vine acrylic gouache and some colored pencils. Back here I have my paint rags, some colored pencils, 
And then I have these two ceramic olives that I made myself. This next drawer here is full of stationery as well as like cute gifts. I don't know how else to say it. So this is like my sticker holder that I get, that I put my stickers that I get from friends and stuff in here. I have some washi rolls. These containers are from Daiso, by the way. And all of these containers are from the container store. I have this super cute pouch from Tiffany that I, I'm keeping in here for now. Um, and yeah, I have an extra washi roll that I'm not using. This next drawer, I, I labeled it prints and paper. So I have a bunch of prints from art friends and stuff and prints that I bought with my own money. This I got from an artist. I really like it. They send it to me for my PO box. I have watercolor paper. I labeled this less use art supply just because like I put a bunch of stuff that I don't want to throw out but I just don't use every day anymore. I used to make a lot of jewelry so I have a lot of my jewelry and clay supplies here. This drawer just has uh, packaging supplies that I want to reuse and I didn't throw out so like a lot of plastic and paper that was sent to me. And then in this long drawer it's genuinely just printer paper. So I have another Alice drawing unit. This one's a bit skinnier. I call this one my skinny Alex. In here I have memory cards. This towel I have because when I record voiceovers, I like to put my mic on it. This next drawer obviously just has envelopes. This used to have a bunch of envelopes as well, but I've used them all. So it also just has tape and some labels. I labeled this one random tech. So I have like my keyboard as well as like my switch, my old phone case. My Kindle's back there too. So there's just like a bunch of random tech. Um, I also have my Tamagotchi in there. I have two lenses that my friend Benji lent me, but I'm not using because I'm using my Sony again. In that mooncake box back there, I just have a bunch of cables and stuff I don't want to look at. So that door actually goes to my bathroom, but I don't want to give a tour of that because it's kind of dirty. <laughs> um, but this door right here goes to my closet. So let's take a quick look in. So just up there is mainly like where I'm holding my mailers and I'll be sure to probably fill these shelves with mailers too as time goes on. But for now, it's just kind of like a flex space that holds a lot of like my life stuff. I find it very, very convenient. And I really did it by <laughs> covering up all those wires. Um, yeah, I think it's super, super useful and I'm very glad that I have a functional charging station now. All right, so you made it to the end of the video. Thank you so much for watching. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. I definitely had so much fun crafting this space out. I'm just so grateful to be in here. Every day I walk in here and I'm like, wow, I cannot believe that I get to work here. And I'm so excited to be filming new videos in here as well. The light in here is just so much nicer than what I used to have, so... I hope that that will boost the quality of my videos for you guys too. And yeah, I just wanna say a huge thank you um, for supporting me. I've been doing this for over two years now and every ounce of support that I've gotten from anybody has just like cumulatively helped me get to where I am right now. And I, I just wanna say like, thank you so much for helping me out so much. I, I really, really appreciate you. And yeah, <laughs> so this is gonna be the end of the video. Thank you for watching once again. Please subscribe. Like if you made it through this whole video, you might as well subscribe. I will catch you very soon with some regularly scheduled studio vlog content. And yeah, I will see you super soon. Bye.